and it's time for the finishing touch in this upgrade of my renovated bathroom. I'm installing a washlet. This bidet seat is a Toto SW 3036. Let's open the box and see what's in here. Here's everything removed from the package. We have the SW3036 washlet with pre-connected hose and power cord. We have installation instructions and operating manual in multiple languages. This is the bracket that connects the washlet to the toilet bowl itself and a T fitting for the water supply line. And this is everything that came with the remote control, including a wall mount bracket, um, the batteries and instructions for installing that on the wall. I've already removed my old toilet seat. I'm ready to follow their instructions, which are very well laid out, uh, very clearly documented. The first thing we need to do is turn off the water. I'm going to give it a flush so that I relieve the water pressure in the pipe. Now, you just need to disconnect the supply line. Let me put my towel underneath there. Do it that way. There we go. That's pretty simple. This T connection goes on to the base of the toilet tank. It looks like this pivots to whichever direction is going to be the most convenient for the the toilet, uh, the washlet lid hose to secure to it. And then the supply line connects to the bottom of this new fitting. And these things should just be hand tightened, but I'm not going to quite go all the way yet because I want to see what alignment to position this T in. Now for the installation of the washlet seat, first this bracket has to be mounted. It has a front and back. These little metal hooks are going to go to the front. These rubber grommets have a built-in threaded nut and they insert through the holes in the ceramic. And in order to achieve that, they say to wet them, I have a little water in this bucket. So I'll just wet them a little bit, make them a little slippery, and it should pop down through there. And they're pretty tight, firm. There we go. And this one. There we go. Then this bracket is going to sit right over top of those. These interesting shaped washers drop in and the teeth interlock with the shape in the plastic frame itself. Then these threaded screws drop in. Then we simply snug down the screws with a Phillips screwdriver. But before we tighten them all the way, I'm supposed to center the bracket on the toilet. Now we can snug these down all the way. Now it's simply a matter of sliding the toilet seat, the washlet seat, onto the bracket. You can see there's a lock here. These hooks are going to interlock with those. And it says just to slide it in place until a click is heard. Just like that. Now you can see this is extending 
be on the front of my bowl. This is a round front bowl. It is a Toto ceramic fixture. I don't know what model number. It's an older ceramic fixture. But the measurements on it were within the specification of this seat. So let's take a close look and see what our alignments are. That looks very centered. And the seat supports hit the rim of the bowl. The instructions now say to connect the water supply of the seat to that uh, T that I installed. Let's see, I don't know which way this power cord should route, but you can see how I chose to loop the water supply line behind the connection and that sort of keeps it in under the toilet. That is tight, that's tight, top nut's tight. Now we're supposed to plug in the power supply. And I have a lot of extra cord here I'll have to figure out what to do with, but right now we're just going to plug this in so we can test the operation. I put the batteries in the remote control so that I can test the unit before turning on the water. This is what's suggested in the instructions. So you have to place a little pressure on the edge of the seat here because there's a switch built in to tell if there's a body on the seat. Otherwise, none of the functions are going to work. I hear fans going. Things happening here. I'm going to push the wash button. There it goes. The wand is extending. I'm going to push the stop button. The wand retracts. I hear a fan going. Let go of the switch. As far as I can tell, everything's working. Oh, I hear a fan kicking up higher now. This does have an air purification system built into it, which helps reduce odor in the room. So, I assume it's working. So I elected to reroute the power cable a little bit behind this piping and bundle the extra with a couple of zip ties to keep it out of the way. There's plenty of cord if your outlet is farther from the toilet than mine. So I'm ready to turn on the water and check for leaks. Everything is dry. I don't feel any water. I don't see any drips. So I think I am in operational condition here. Lastly, I have this wall bracket to install, which will hold the remote control over here. The wall bracket is magnetic, sticking the control to it. But you have two options on how to install it. It comes with an included hook, which can be installed and allow you to hook the remote into the bracket and then lock it in place with a little security screw underneath. Also provided is a informational card, a placard, which mounts behind the bracket against the wall and tells the user what the functions of each of the buttons are. I've already marked my locations for the screws, and I'm on a hollow wall, so I will use the included hollow wall anchors.
Ready to roll. That's it, my installation's complete. I'll be testing out all the functions on this wash lid over the next several weeks. I have an entire user manual to peruse and read how to program the control and all the functions that this offers. If you have any questions about the installation or about the Toto SW3036 in general, leave them in the comments below. I will do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.